Greetings, dear listeners. My name is Sirid Gwaifsarim and today our broadcast is dedicated to resources. Resource refers to all the materials available in our environment which are technologically accessible, economically feasible and culturally sustainable and help us to satisfy our needs and wants. Resources can broadly be classified upon their availability. They are classified into renewable and non-renewable resources. They can also be classified as actual and potential on the basis of the level of development and use. On the basis of origin, they can be classified as biotic and abiotic. And on the basis of the distribution as ambiguous and localized, private, community-owned, national and international resources. An item becomes a resource with time and development technology. The benefits of resource utilization may include increased wealth, proper function of a system, or enhanced well-being. From a human perspective, a natural resource is anything obtained from the environment to satisfy human needs and wants. From a broader biological or ecological perspective, a resource satisfies the needs of a living organism. The concept of resources has been developed across many established areas of work in economics, biology, and ecology, computer science, management, and human resources, for example, linked to the com- concepts of competition, sustainability, conservation, and stewardship. In application within human society, commercial or non-commercial factors require resource allocation through resource management. The concept of a resource can also be tied to the direction of leadership over resources. This can include the things leaders have responsibility for over the human resources with management, help, support or direction such as in charge of a professional group, technical experts, innovative leaders, are having expertise, academic management, association management, business management, healthcare management, military management, public administration, spiritual leadership, and social networking administrator. Typically, resources cannot be consumed in their original form, but rather through resource development, they must be proceed into more usable commodities and usable things. The demand for resources is increasing as economies develop. This, there are marked differences in resource distribution and associated economic inequality between regions or countries with developed countries using more natural resources than developing countries. Sustainable development is a pattern of resources use 
that aims to meet human needs while preserving the environment. Sustainable development means that we should exploit our resources carefully to meet our present requirement without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. The practice of free arts reduce, reduce and recycle must be followed in order to save and extend the availability of resources. And now our broadcast is over. Please subscribe to this channel. That was your host, Sengbaisen. Goodbye.